Today's hottest club is called Sweetfish. It has everything. <laughs> say, uh... Go on. No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't have that good. I want to hear Joe do this. It's called a warm up, John. I don't have John Mulaney writing for me. Give me a fucking break. Okay, so I'm I'm starting to see a pattern. John Mulaney, yes. Middle ditch, no. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> Correct. Yes. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's a. Uh, you just named a new Netflix special. Flexes lips and slips and smiles. Blogs and dresses, drugs and tales. There's nowhere deep to swim, only selective friends with funny names. I'm feeling itchy and bitchy. It's the F Plus Podcast, Terrible Things, Red with Enthusiasm. And in the room tonight, we've got Boots Rain Gear. A man has hired a woman for some fetish fun. He tells her that he enjoys fuzzy things, so she wears a fuzzy coat for him, but he has something else in mind. John Toast. He hands her a huge, soft, blue fuzzy turtleneck sweater that appears to be very expensive, perhaps even hand-knitted, of mohair-some shimmery blue tights and tall blue high heels. Come Quasa! She gets dressed in them and he begins to tie her up with some white clothesline. This is very unlike her other jobs, but she doesn't mind. He ties her arms up very first thing. You may know her as Gull Girl, but we all still call her the intern. He has her walk around a bit before tying her ankles and ball gagging her. Then he has a thigh rope and she struggles some more. Eventually he hog ties her. She struggles around on the floor for a while and is eventually able to get the hog tie rope loosened. He's your friend on the internet and can be found at lefthandedradio.com. It's Adam Bozarth. She pulls her legs down straight and makes her way back over to the sofa and sits back up there. He comes back over to her and punishes her for messing up his bondage. And Lemon, you will have to watch to see what he does to punish her, but I bet you can use your imagination. The end. (laughs) The end. Yay. I really, really like he punishes her for messing up his bondage. Yeah. Oh, you, you ah, messed you it up. Oh, you messed it up. You ruined it. Oh, we're all day on this. Damn it. Your punishment, more bondage. <laughs> Don't mess it up this time. Go to my room. <laughs> Plus. Oh, hey, hello. Lemon. Hi, Lemon. Hello. Hey, uh, oh, are you all feeling comfortable right now? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sure. Okay. okay. I'd say yeah. so. Good, good. I think that, I think that, you know, I, I've tried to, you know, spend uh, over a decade trying to, like, cultivate a, a um, an atmosphere of comfort, you know, like, like, so that you <laughs> never, never scared of what's going to happen. Uh, you two, you that's two. the that's a vibe I've always gotten from you on this podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Temperature okay in the room right now? It's, it's, a, little it's, a, it's a little cold. A little it's cold, a little chilly cold. for me. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's 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 unusually yeah. cold here, in yeah, May. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's, so, not, it's not May yet. <laughs> so yeah, so, so boots. I'm gonna I'm just reach back and then I'm just gonna turn. Okay. I'm just gonna turn mm-hmm. the temperature down. Okay. Down a lot. I'm gonna make it real, uh, real wait. cold. Wait. Real cool. I'm the only one Hold who on. feels a little warm, so that's okay, good but, for me. Yeah, exactly. But I don't, that, that's not really a fix for my problem, though. <laughs> no, it, no. You know what would be a fix for your problem? It's, what? It's, is you should put on a really big, heavy sweater. Oh, I thought this was just Canada fetish. <laughs> uh, the document that I have for us all today uh, is one of uh, several uh, given to us in a very short period of time by the lizard, um, and this document is called Sweater Fetish. Um, sweater Fetish. Sweater yes. Fetish. Thank you for pronouncing that correctly. <laughs> yeah, sweater <laughs> fetish uh, can be. It can take many forms. It can be a fetish for you know traditional sweaters, uh, wool, angora, yarn, mohair, fur. Uh, it can be from a lot of places. And, and here's th- what I think. What I think is a very exciting thing about <clears throat> sweater fetish <laughs> is that <laughs> is that uh, sweater fetish doesn't have that much of like a uh, put together community. Uh, that I can see. Oh, it's just um, like it's it's really like loosely knitted together. Mm, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yes, exactly. Uh, and so we're going to be going through a whole bunch of places on the internet. 
uh, to learn about sweater fetish. Um, <laughs> I'd like to note uh, something else interesting that that the lizard points out is that a lot of these sites are either entirely or partly in French and German, or they'd click on an English title and then the first paragraph is in English with three paragraphs after it in French. So wow. we're getting a real Amy. international community here. Oh yeah, Amy. no, this is yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this is great. Like, we've spent so much time uh, with British fetishes. I'm really excited about a very French fetish. <laughs> and very continental. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, right, I'm cool. coming to the table with a platter. It's like, all right, here's our around, uh, around the globe fetish uh, sampler, <laughs> if you want to. <laughs> all right, uh, so we're going to start things off here uh, in a uh, community. It's a very selective community with uh, very selective members. Uh, it's called r slash sex. No. You know, for Redditors well. that are interested in sex, I guess. No. Sure, sure. It's the community that every other Redditor wants to make every other community into. <laughs> so lame. So lame. Hey, uh, so Boots, uh, your mm-hmm. name is deleted, and uh, yep. why don't you tell me about your fetish, please? Yeah, uh, fleece clothing fetish! <laughs> All right. I have a fetish for seeing women in polar fleece clothing. I am just curious if anyone shares this same or similar fetish. It is very hard to find content on the internet that cater to this particular <laughs> fetish. I see videos that cater to satin slash puffy coats slash leather, etc., but none for fleece. Mine oh. is more focused on things like North Face Columbia bench style jackets. Huh, okay, that's that's a departure already. I was not expecting that. I would love some input or recommendations from the internet community, as it is a hard topic for me to discuss on a personal basis. <laughs> Clearly. Any hmm. advice? Yeah, Move I got advice for you. I've got advice for you. My name is uh, Tura Var- Varino. Tura Varino. Uh, and, uh, it sounds like you need to move somewhere where it's pretty chilly year-round. I live in Minnesota, and while fleece jammies and jackets, etc. are comforting as hell, I never thought they were very sexy. I would love to live in Minnesota, <laughs> but the downfall is I feel like it would be a tease for me. <laughs> me. <laughs> <laughs> that's right that's right the most erotic state in the nation <laughs> <laughs> all right fantastic so uh so that was uh our sex we've learned uh everything we need to know about sex and so we're ready to move on <laughs> great. <laughs> great now that we're good at sex we're gonna go to r slash fetish great oh yeah um and uh i think uh john toast if you'll uh take this one please uh your name <laughs> never mind you tell me what your name is <laughs> Oh, what? wait, why? When, uh, you told, just, just tell me what your you username told, is. That's all I wanted to know. Well, no, but you told Boots his, his, his name. Like, why, I did, why I you, did. I don't understand. I just want to hear it come from your mouth, that's all. <sighs> Fine, okay. Hello, everyone. I'm Cumlover18. <laughs> You're not an undercover cum lover. <laughs> Like it was a long, it was a long night of come lover oh one no, come lover oh two no. Well, anyways, I have a sweatshirt slash long sleeve fetish. I first started masturbating by wearing a sweatshirt and pretty much humping the inside of it. The softness of the sweatshirt and all was really fun. Now I am almost thirty and still cannot wear sweatshirts or long sleeve shirts without getting turned on. Mm. I used to only jerk off like that for many years. Now it drives me crazy every time I wear a sweatshirt or see girls and guys in cute sweatshirts. I absolutely love crewnecks now because of it. Huh. Huh. Uh Huh. Huh. They don't let let me in the North Face store anymore. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, uh, My name is is deleted. Uh, I can get that. I have a fetish for used converse. (laughs) Yeah, I can get that. I can get that. I have a fetish for used converse. Uh, I buy them on eBay, men or women's, and I put and I put my clitty in one. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> yeah, my clitty in one of them. Ooh. yeah. <laughs> and then I hump it while sucking and licking the other. I'm real. <laughs> Usually, while I am fucking, I go on eBay and buy more as I'm horny, and I will click buy it now. <laughs> It's been a fetish for years, and now I'm single again. I've started collecting Converse again. God, that sounds like a threat. 
Wow. <laughs> Uh, okay, so, oh, sorry. I, I have a complaint. I have a complaint. Oh, yeah, what's that? I was promised... Sweater fetish! We've talked <laughs> about fleece. We've talked about sweatshirts. Mm-hmm. None mm-hmm. of these are sweaters. All right, well then, great. Uh, that's no problem, no problem, no problem. Come quest up. I want to fix that problem for you. I'm so sorry. Thank you for calling our customer care representatives. Your call <laughs> is very important to us. Um, so why don't you just take this uh, this post here by throwaway 1960, 1996. <laughs> <clears throat> I just started Dating this girl who... Hey, what's, uh, what's the title of your... Oh, uh... oh, oh. Fetish fur. <laughs> Have any of you used fur during sex? How Define does... used. How, how does it feel? I'm... Okay. I, I just started dating this girl who, prior to me, had dated a guy who... I had a big fur fetish. Not a furry! He just oh, okay. liked feeling fur and wearing it. And this carried over to his sex life. So was he like a barbarian? Or like a... No, he, like was, a a, he was a Cruella de Vil cosplayer. Oh, oh very <laughs> good, yeah. <laughs> this rubbed off on my girl, who cool. now herself has somewhat of a... Fur fetish, too. I'm a vegetarian, so <laughs> this kind of makes me uncomfortable. It depends. Do you, have a, do you have a throwing paint on yourself fetish? <laughs> Meat is murder on my dick. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Yeesh. This makes me a little uncomfortable, though I can't say I'm not intrigued. What do you guys think? Uh, and, uh, you know, they just think their own fetish. That's what they think. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we're going to move away from Reddit. Uh, I'm sure, uh, thank you so much for calling, Kumquats. I'm sure that that uh, really... <laughs> Really that was not complaint. a sweater either. No, what the I think fuck? That, that, yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, thank you. Thank you ah. for calling. You're welcome. All right. Uh, so we're going to be moving on uh, to the next section. We, we uh, spent a little time on Reddit. Now we're going to go to a place called MelodyO'Hare.net, um, who I think is like a fan fiction character. <laughs> I'm not really sure what guy was on. It's a good Irish name. MelodyO'Hare.net. Uh, but uh, Adam, what's up? I'm looking for the males or the females in the Trondheim area. My name is Wool Fetishist, and I came here to say one of my three posts in total is one of this, and so this is it. <laughs> I am a... So stop the giggling, and I will oh, read. Okay, right. hello. I am a 25-year-old straight guy, but since it's so few females in the wool fetish community, oh. I could also experiment with the male wool fetish sex. Oh. I am open for the males to try anal on me and also suck me, but that's all. So for <laughs> females, I'm up for anything. Sure. So the word straight, the word straight to you, that means what exactly? Uh, Very d- limited. Before, yeah, just re- yeah, <laughs> okay. regular, but also sometimes gay. Yeah, okay. You know, straight, you know. <laughs> straight, yeah, that's, yeah, straight, yeah. Um. So where was I? Oh, yes. If you have a cat suit I can use, I'm probably up for anything. <laughs> so send me one of the PMs if you are interested. Thank <laughs> you. You're going to give me your size? like No, just regular I size. Got the one Straight wool cat size. suit, but it's not one size fit all. A wool fetishist with no <laughs> wool cat suit is the greatest what tragedy. A, what does a wool cat suit look like? You got you got Google as much as I do. I think that's called a sheep suit. Okay. All right. That's fine. <laughs> well, that's, <laughs> that's good. Anyway, uh, wool cat suit. Uh, pretty good Google image search results, honestly. Yeah. It's yeah, pretty good. Uh, it's if, like if you're, it's if like you're listening to this. Do just stop listening for a moment. <laughs> Google Ooh. cat suit. 
Ooh, that is good. You're gonna get yeah. some sexy things. Wow. Yeah, I, w- I want to watch. I want to watch like a uh, like a like a heist movie with like a cat burglar <laughs> who wears uh, this wool cat suit, and it's never explained. Like they never address yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> oh my gosh, the static. <laughs> yeah, it's like. <laughs> oh, this has like a fly. A... Oh, it's got a fly. It's like the man in the oh, iron wow. mask, but it's wool. <laughs> Uh, and then the intern, uh, this is another one from Melody O'Hare, uh, and I believe it's called Bi Curiosity, but not that bi. It's the other bi. You're very funny. Okay. Hi. I'm Pedro Moher. Okay. Does your standard falls when you see a woman dressed in angora or mohair or any kind of wool that you like? Let me explain why I asked that question. Two days ago, I was doing my grocery when I saw a lady dressed in a fantastic mohair coat. She was really not my type. <laughs> Read, she was ugly. <laughs> and I wouldn't no. have raised an it seems eye. You've got a type. <laughs> I wouldn't have raised an eye if she wasn't wearing mohair. But suddenly I started to fantasize that we were in the alley behind the store, and I must admit I would have done it if she had promised um, eye roll, even if she was really ugly. (laughs) I want to fuck you. Also, I'm ugly. Even if she was really ugly. Supposing that you could have some good time with a person who is wearing mohair and gore or any kind of wool that you like, would you lower, like, really down your standard oh, for oh, a woman wow. or a man, if you are into men, who wears your type of wool? I, quote unquote, followed her in the store. Oh, Oh. I'm going to eat the same things than her during the next week. And I had a few opportunities to touch that coat. Oh, oops. Mm. Sorry. I was going to take the same bananas. Oh, and I it was like a that. fantastic mohair. Thick, soft, really amazing. <laughs> wow. Followed her really closely if you're getting the same shopping as her, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, I kept bumping into her and I kept like t- trying to take her wallet. But Do but you not want to propose anything to me. You're ugly. She was so ugly, but I was like, I really want to touch that coat, and so I took her wallet out of her pocket to touch the coat, and I like, you know, the police her. were very sexy. The police were so sexy, way sexier than this lady, but they weren't wearing mohair, you know, so I was like, uh, I'm confused. Uh, I tried to ask her for the jacket to give to the policeman so that he could wear it, and then I would really be turned on, but that didn't happen because I was in jail. <laughs> I, um, my name is Love's Fuzzy Sweaters, and I am... <laughs> what are you about? <laughs> I'm, I'm responding to your you extremely into? erotic story. <laughs> <clears throat> OMG, it has been over 20 years since a woman has even talked to me, much less have a sweater on. <laughs> how is that fucking possible? How, how did you go two decades without a woman talking to you? I don't care about that. She didn't... Ha- no woman has ever had a sweater. In two decades. Come on, I'm such a nerd, and I have a sweater fetish. No way would I have any chance of having sex, whether she was ugly or not, sweater or not. I have to live in the real world, and people like myself are not acceptable to any women. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, my name's MJ Chung. Cool. Been there, done that. For me, What's women that? move up my rating scale when they are dressed in a sweater. They look much better in them. I followed a few that I am not gonna. That I am. <laughs> <laughs> I followed a few that I am not have given a second look if they were dressed in a non-sweater outfit. <laughs> wow. Just going. Uh. If you were wearing a sweater, you would go up by... You would be like a nine. I just wouldn't that. <laughs> uh, okay, down bye. in Down in... Uh, uh, intern, uh, down in uh, this thread here, uh, three from the bottom, uh, Pedro Mohair comes back 
Uh, and, uh, you know, he just wants to, just wants to brag a little bit. Are you serious? Maybe you are too hard on yourself. I don't mm. know if I'm just lucky, but I haven't met a girl slash woman who didn't <laughs> accept to wear a mohair sweater in bed from me. Sometimes <laughs> you just have to ask kindly to get what you want. And don't forget to ask them what you can do for them <laughs> in return, you know? Well, that's, that's slightly healthy, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I followed all these women and got (laughs) them into my bed. And once I've trapped them in the bed, I can be a really nice guy sometimes. (laughs) (laughs) I, uh, oh, 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 uh, uh, this, uh, uh, this, uh, Pedro here, uh, on the second, uh, second thread. Oh, oh, he, he says that he wrote a blog post about how to convince women to wear mohair sweaters. (laughs) <laughs> but unfortunately, that Blogspot uh, article has been taken offline. Uh, God damn it. God damn it. Anyway. It was um, a really uh, good blog, I'll say. It's I really bet, yeah. excellent work on my part. Uh, uh, Toast, uh, you wanted to ask Reddit in a subreddit called Ask Reddit. Isn't that nice? Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, funny that. Uh, well, that last person was kind of weird and creepy, so I'm sure I'll be <laughs> way more well-adjusted as a contrast. <laughs> Hi, uh, my name is Protagoras67, and cool. my question is, what is a weird hobby that you've been hiding from your family slash friends? Assuming you have either of them. Mm. <clears throat> well, here's mine. I write erotica stories for myself, but the system I have in place is so convoluted and bizarre, I can't let any of the people in my life know about it. Cool. My name is Morrowind, and uh, I'm a great conversationalist. Uh, can you tell us, internet strangers? I am intrigued. Oh, sure. <laughs> and I, got a, I got a shit ton of awards for this. I'm sorry. Were you waiting for something? <laughs> Cracking the oh, knuckles. I'm so glad you, oh, I'm so glad you asked. Hmm. <clears throat> I've always had this fetish for women in crew neck sweatshirts. A few years ago, I discovered sites like Etsy, where I could save photos of models wearing that type of clothing. I saved photos in a giant folder initially, then I started categorizing them. Like if they said Ohio State on them, I would put them in a subfolder called Ohio State. Whoa! Or, wow! That is not the categorization I was expecting! Slow down, slow down. Or slow some down. other sports team, etc. <laughs> That's a then I dis- Then I discovered Instagram. Is this how you make your final four picks? (laughs) (laughs) I did the same sort of thing, but also followed some models or just girls that I thought were really hot. Then I started grouping photos (laughs) of a model. Like, say, if they were a fan of a certain team or went to a certain college, I would save all their photos under one of those subfolders. Following so far? (laughs) It still seems like you're way more college-focused than... So like, there's folders. There's folders, but the folders are just the names of colleges, as far as I'm understanding, right? No, no, no. Not and colleges. Then, sports teams. Ohio State sports, sports team. Yes, yeah, sports, sports teams sports or team, models. Yeah. And yep. it's well, and no, et no, because the models are are just the only thing that the models do is they're categorized by the sports team that they enjoy. The fetish is the categorization. Like you can't you can't spell Dewey Decimal System without the D. <laughs> Jesus! Jesus! What are you selling t shirts? What the fuck was that? (laughs) Guys, we got six more pages of this one post. Come to naughtylibrarian.com for some really funny t shirts. Good. (sighs) Well, okay, we're we're actually getting to the we're actually getting to the point here, believe it or not. Okay, cool. Okay. Somehow, I got the idea to write erotica stories on Word documents that I would tie to that girl in that folder. Ugh. <laughs> Weirdly creepy. Anyways, mm-hmm, it could mm-hmm. be some really extreme femdom or some sort of vanilla romantic thing. I basically chose my favorite sweatshirts from one subfolder, for instance, the best of the U Miami folder, okay, and lined them right. up it's in five colleges. rows of five, a total of 25 photos. Then for each photo, it would be like a different chapter of story. So basically 25 bullets a word document. Yeah, that's how a stories are. <laughs> so for whatever line I was on, I would open the corresponding photo of that sweatshirt and go through all the photos of a girl while I was masturbating. Like I was imagining her wearing that, but also getting off to photos of her half naked in other photos. Not weird enough. I 
also have a playlist on YouTube with sexual music. <laughs> and I use a song from that playlist for each line. What do you so, think sexual music is to this brain? So if the song on the play in the playlist is number 32 on the playlist, that's what I title the photo, so I know to go listen to that while I masturbate to that chapter. How do wow. I decide which what folder to pick is... for my solo session? I use a random number generator from oh, Google and let fuck. that algorithm decide. <laughs> oh, that's that's very oh, good. Oh, fuck. <laughs> See, we've, we've, we've come to the point where somebody so internet, their sexuality is determined by algorithm. Oh, my God. Don't write Python, kids. Not even <laughs> once. This is what happens. See how psychotic that is? <laughs> I can never let anyone in real life know that. Can't believe how much time I put into that, but I did find it mentally stimulating, and also it also helped me to not get fixated on one article of clothing on a girl. Because while I was looking at pictures of sweatshirts, I was also training my brain to appreciate other physical aspects of a woman. Wow! How, enlight- how enlightened, Protagoras! Protagoras. Now, brain, I'm gonna need you to do something very important for me. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Uh, edit. Edit. The one time my comment blows up and I get a bunch of likes is one where I reveal my deepest, darkest secret. God damn it. Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> I got oh, to no. talk about I got to talk about my <laughs> masturbation habits and a lot of people <laughs> looked at it. Oh, man. Darn. That was as creepy Wait as it was Wait a minute. I boring. feel like you editors are just looking for car crashes. Huh. <laughs> wow. Wow. All right. Uh, so. what, what if any of that was a story? <laughs> <laughs> didn't, didn't promise that um uh so uh so we're moving into the uh the next section here uh the next section uh we've introduced you to the fetish we've introduced you to some of the people that enjoy the fetish and now it is time for some commerce yeah Ooh. okay yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so, uh, we got some stuff to sell. Some, uh, so these are all, uh, should, I should mention up top, uh, these are affiliated links. <laughs> Make sure to use the F plus coupon code. And, uh, and, uh, Adam, what do you want to sell? Chastity panties with a hundred percent gold down cutouts, downy underpants, fluffy underwear, BDSM underwear. Gotta from Etsy. Huh? Gotta wow. love that SEO. Wow. Yes. Sexy men's underpants with a really mohair sweater with a goat down, closed oh, brown case. Oh, there's a mohair cock sheath what? attached to this underwear. That's true. <laughs> oh, it's a, a little it's hole like a for mitten. your villi. It's, like a, it's, like, yeah, a, it's and like a mitten giving a very big thumbs up. And another yes. pouch for your balls. <laughs> yes. So you must keep the penis and the balls in separate compartments. Is th- this is the way mo- get ideas. This is like genital vibram five fingers this is amazing <laughs> oh yes <laughs> it's like the it's like the stupid toe shoes you wear come quiet but for your dick <laughs> that, that, that was what i just said but... oh was it i don't know the, i don't know the brand names i'm sorry <laughs> The, it's right. it's it said right. fingers. How would I know this? <laughs> we've got we've got the advanced joke and the exp- and the beginner joke. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, just just it. so you know the uh, the Etsy page for this on the gallery. There's an animated uh, image. <gasps> ooh, 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 scrolling up, scrolling ooh. up. It's, it's it's of a man in the woods wearing a completely different outfit, walking uh-huh. in a circle. <laughs> but but he's probably like got his cock in a wool sheath. <laughs> So, yeah, I guess. <laughs> Look, and he and he looks first he looks of like all it. French as hell, and also really uncomfortable. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, oh, are we done? No, no, are we keep, done? Please keep going. Up. Oh, okay, no. okay, quick. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> Vili <laughs> Mohair like sweater with more. gold down. I'm trying to sell my my ve- my knitted Vina panties, please. <laughs> Vili Mo has sweater with gold down, closed cover or open style, brown, hand knitted, order any size and color. We accept individual orders according to size and imagination. Oh. Let me know what color you prefer. Washing should be done manual on a dry towel. Then <laughs> dry on a towel. <laughs> the price depends on size. Delivery can be combined. Uh, yeah, and it also depends wow. on the complexity of the order. <laughs> yes. Wow. By the way, there is only one available, but if you add it to the cart, it is currently in four people's carts. 
So <laughs> act it right now, please. Uh, related searches, mohair fetish, uh, sweater fetish, mohair skirts, mohair underwear, mohair sweater, uh, leather pants, and underwets. <laughs> mm. Um, mm. You guys like tattoos? Yes. Yeah, sure. Cool. Pretty cool. Sure. Cool. You yeah. guys like crochet, right? We love yes. crochet. Yes. Awesome. 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 I awesome. feel like you're setting something up. No, I'm not setting anything up. <laughs> anyway, we're going to go to crochettattoo.com. Uh, uh, let me tell you about crochettattoo.com. Crochet Tattoo is a unique way of creating the world's tightest fitting woolen cat suits by working directly on the body. Oh. Unlike classical crochet and knitting. <laughs> The number and the tightness of the male, male is, male is, males. Uh, some, some, sorry. I know that there's people in ball pit that knit uh, M-A-I-L-L-E-S. In each row, follow exactly the curves of your body. No simplification, no abstraction in the shapes, just the real you. It is just a matter of the final result of the process itself. Crochet tattoo is definitely for patient <laughs> wool fetishists who enjoy... <laughs> Who enjoys slowly developing feelings and views? <laughs> Just imagine what? a young lady spending hours and hours fitting more and more wool around your skin, <laughs> inducing a progressively growing warmth and pressure in the fabric <laughs> and a hypnotic state through the repetitive movements. If this appeals to you, crochet tattoo could be your thing. <laughs> <laughs> With me, you can also discuss your fetishes that I will most probably understand. There is hardly anything within textile fetishism that would shock me to hear about, and I know what state you are likely to spend at least the first few hours between my hands, so take it easy. Hmm. Uh, so here's how it works. You send me an email describing your wishes, the type of garment and accessories, cat suit, mask, socks, body bag. Body bag? <laughs> body bag? A We're going to knit him bag. a body bag. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, Tony, uh, come on. <laughs> come on, not, not that. <laughs> Please, my son, I have one dying wish. <laughs> um, the properties of the wool, the motifs, etc. You can join photos, drawings, or long explanations. In any case, we will try to find a way to understand each other. Smiley face. I will get back to you with an offer calculated on the basis of the design, which will be, you know, in the range of like 50 to like 500 euro. <laughs> And then there's the working time, that's about 20 euro an hour, plus the material cost if I bring the wool myself. As my method implies a certain degree of improvisation, the offer will have a plus or minus 15% in precision. However, if I have to override this 15%, any addition in L work will be free of charge. Upon your validation of the offer, we will plan the session either in the workshop in Marseille or at any place of your choice in the Shenzhen zone. Oh, this is a product and a service. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, sweater as a service. <laughs> um, <laughs> God. The transport and the accommodation being at your charge, obviously. So there we go. We will spend together like eight to ten hours a day. <laughs> Fuck. Oh my God. Yes. You think your job sucks. <laughs> so we'll do eight to ten hours a day, uh, sometimes a lot more, me crocheting around your body and you letting me do, wow. you know, just things yeah. in general. We will alternate moments at where the cloth grows directly in your body and parts fabricated normally, namely the joints, which will be knitted for more flexibility or the tight connections between the toe. We will try the garment on very frequently while making these parts until the plan service is finally covered. Do you have any questions? I hope not, because I'm closing down the site forever and never coming back. <laughs> shut it down! Shut it down! Wow. How did this person not find enough takers? <laughs> I like the uh, the username on YouTube is really good. Crochet tattoo, crochet tattoo. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what is what is happening on the crochet tattoo, crochet tattoo YouTube channel? Uh, some crocheting. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Asked an answer. Thanks a bunch. Um, let's go. 
I think let's go to uh, Amazon.com. Uh, Amazon.com, nice. a place for human exploitation. Uh, and uh, the intern, if you'll take the sweater shoot, won't you please? This sure, is a, sure. uh, a Kindle hmm. story. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The sweater shoot. A wool and sweater fetish story. English edition. <laughs> Kindle edition. Sourced from Amazon.com. A day of modeling turns into something more when a designer seduces Zane with the softest possible wool. Clothed in intoxicating fibers, Zane finds himself at the hands of another sweater fetishist named Bryce. In a matter of minutes, he's ready for anything and everything as the sweater fetish takes over. No, no, my sweater fetish is taking over! (laughs) Will sweaters knit the two men together forever? Oh. Oh. Publisher, wolffetish.com, first edition. Ooh, a first edition ebook. Yeah. 31st, 2015. Make sure to get the NFT. <laughs> uh, I went to uh, I went to uh, the intern. I went to uh, wolffetish.com and it's just an Amazon redirect yep. uh, with all of the uh, novels uh, that this particular author uh, by the name of Chase Pike uh, has written. Um, so uh, uh, you know, as as we heard, uh, one of them was the sweater shoot. Uh, what are, what other uh, books has uh, Chase Pike written? For only two ninety nine, the price of half a latte. You can you can own sweater seduction, a sweater fetish story, or the writer, a first time gay encounter, huh. or well, Sebastian old. and the sweater master, a sweater fetish story part one. <laughs> they or call me the sweater master. Keith sock drawer, a woolen sweater oh my God. fetish story. <laughs> Last Can you, but not I'm least. so sorry. I'm so sorry. Can I pretty, pretty, pretty please hear the description of Keith's sock drawer? Okay. Toby Waters thought he was over his sweater and sock fetish, <laughs> but a discovery in his roommate's sock drawer sends him over the edge. Captivated by Keith's woolly clothing, Toby gets undressed for a little private self gratification. It turns <laughs> you know out. what I mean. It turns out Toby's playtime is anything but private. He's being watched by a hidden camera, and his life in the college dorm is about to change forever in an all-male threesome. Hey, uh, yeah, my name, oh, (laughs) damn it. Yeah, what's what's up, what's up? What did you want to say, John Toast? God damn it. Well, my voice went weird for a sec because I think it was like two people were going to be me. Oh, oh whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe there's something that's particularly exciting. It's, it, there. it's, a, it's, it's. A, I got something in my throat. Oh. <laughs> it was weird. That's Anyways. cool. You're like a tube and tr- throat singer. It's nice. <laughs> Anyways, um, so all of these have like one review and they're five stars, except this one has three stars because of me. I'm Greg Lindy, and I gave this one star. And oh, my title, <laughs> the title just says of my review just says straight. <laughs> I didn't enjoy it, except for the sweater parts. I am a straight, not gay guy who has a sweater fetish. Why do sweater fetish stories with males always have to be gay? <laughs> One person found this helpful. <laughs> just like I just like Greg going like, oh, another gay story. Well, I hope it's got good sweater parts because that's all I'm getting. <laughs> that's all it's well, working for. Me. There is a guy on the cover, but. <laughs> He's got his own blog where you can script to the sweater parts of stories. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Mr. Wool. <laughs> Mr. Wool. I, I am going to immediately look for Greg Liddy's one-star review of the Wool books on Amazon. <laughs> Godspeed. I hope, you find, I hope you find some good stuff. Uh, cool, cool, cool. Uh, awesome, awesome, great, very good. Uh, you guys like uh, crowdfunding, right? Yeah. Sure. Awesome, yeah. awesome. Always. I love crowdfunding. Uh, it's really good. And uh, so we're going to be going to uh, to knitfetish.com, uh, K-N-I-T fetish.com. Uh, and uh, I have a product I want to talk to you about, but uh, hello, uh, fellow sweater lovers. 
welcome to this new sweater fetish project. The idea is to create a book about our fetish. More specifically, a photo book combined with testimonials from different members of our community. The book will be a real printed edition, around like 60 pages, standard landscape, uh, 10 by 8, uh, 25 by 20 uh, centimeters. Uh, the project will also contain additional packages of photos and videos for downloading. It goes yeah. without saying that we need quite a bit of support from the community to make this idea a reality. Currently, several sweater lovers are working on testimonials and hopefully a few new photos. This book will contain a selection of couples, uh, TSTG, uh, men mm. and females. If you want to be in the book, let us know. If you want to contribute, you can do it on the site. Who wants to give me money? Oh, anyway? I, I guess I'll uh, give you money to make Oh, the how much work. money are you going to give me? Uh, I, got, uh, I got a 50 Oh, great. So you're going to get 50 photos. If you back the project with $50 uh -huh. and get 50 digital sweater fetish photos for downloading when purchasing the book. But what's in the book? That's not that's not your concern. Okay. That's Thank you for your money, though. Thank you for the $50. Oh. Anyone yeah. else want to give me money? I have $75. $75? Well, if you back the project with $75, you're going to get 100 digital sweater fetish photos when downloading what? when purchasing the book. Hey, hey, hey. What? I'm a high roller. I like buying oh. too expensive things on the internet. I have $100. Yes, yeah. $100? You're going to get photos and a naughty video. When you Ooh. back the project with $100, you'll get 100 digital sweater fetish photos. Apparently, this is as many as we have, I guess. Mm, yeah. And a naughty video for downloading when purchasing the book. Twenty-five dollar video, huh? Okay, so <laughs> it's better be naughty. How are how are the photos in the naughty video related to the book? So it's an, uh, it's it an seems... extended universe. It's an extended universe. It's... <laughs> <laughs> and and what's in the book? Uh, probably photos. Uh, photos. There's photos in the book. Photos of uh, ladies, sort of like sort of half wearing sweaters, and then your photos that you'll get along with the book is presumably photos of ladies half wearing sweaters. Uh. So like double your pleasure, right? I mean, very very good. Do I need the book? At this you point? do. Yeah, could... because I need to sell you the book. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm so... sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Adam, uh you yeah. said you said do I need the book as your question. Yeah. Um I believe what you meant to say is uh what is the name of your company? Yeah, what is the name of your company? <laughs> That's Fuzzy Publications with a PH. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, Fuzzy Publication. Okay. Fuzzy, yeah. I'm a phone freaker. <laughs> uh, cool, 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 cool. Uh, uh, okay, so uh, next section down here. Uh, time for us to buy some. So now that we've bought some products, so we have our book. Uh, we're yep. getting pretty excited. Uh, it's time for us to buy some porn for our sweater fetish mm -hmm. uh, that we have acquired. Uh, there are so many websites in this document. Thank you, the lizard. Um, uh, next website that we are on is called Turtleneck Tees. Uh, oh, it's oh, it's Tees, not Tees. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, you're being teased with turtlenecks. Right, yeah. oh. And uh, <clears throat> um, so this uh, this uh, boots this uh, this yeah. Mia Valentine uh, uh, thing here. This uh, it's mm -hmm. called the interview. Uh, can you tell me about it? I'm really sure. excited. Yeah, the interview. Mia Valentine bound in soft green video and images. Seven minutes and 33 seconds, 56 images. <clears throat> okay, okay. Mia Valentine looks stunning in her debut film for TurtlenecTees.com. She wears a tight little black skirt, pantyhose, a tight black soft natural fiber cardigan, and of course... A super soft, light green fuzzy turtleneck with ribbed collar and cuffs. Mia has been invited in for job interview, but when she arrives at the location, no one is there. She leaves and goes home. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. She calls out as she idly plays with her collar. The Call jumper on. feels so soft. She forgets where she is and starts fondling her breasts. Oh, no, a jumper. Are we back in Britain? <laughs> she is a million miles away when the attack happens. <laughs> what? Wow. There, is a, there is a quick <laughs> Armed gunmen. struggle before a chloro handkerchief. I guess 
<laughs> we're mm. we're uh, cutesy in chloroform. <laughs> yeah, that's really cute. <laughs> Before a chloro handkerchief is placed over her mouth and nose, she sinks to the ground. It seems you've played right into my hand, Mia Valentine. <laughs> when the lights come up, Mia is bound in a chair. There are lots of lingering shots as she is out cold. She struggles and calls out for help, but no one ever comes. She is desperate to escape and begs you to be let go. Fetish, huh. ele- fetish elements. Super soft, fuzzy turtleneck. Uh-huh. Check. Yeah, Office yeah. wear. Check. Check. Prim and pop. Prim and proper. Double check. <laughs> okay. Breast Just play. the concepts? Okay. Yeah. All right. Attack Pearls. and takedown. Attack and takedown. <laughs> oh, I'm glad I put my skill points into that. Chloro chief, <laughs> Chloro chief hand gag. Okay. Um, Out cold, comma dozing. Okay. Bondage. Damsel in distress. Begging. Mia Excel. is an amazing model and awesome actress and is happy to help bring your fantasies to life. I can't imagine much acting was required. This was probably just a, a joy. This uh, is like be sure every... to follow the blog for more free samples. <laughs> this is like uh, every tags. like intro cutscene to a video game. Oh, these tags are good. <laughs> Turtleneck, what? sweater, polo neck, roll neck, bondage, jumper, turtleneck bondage, sweater bondage. Roll neck bondage, polo neck bondage, turtleneck bondage. I'm <laughs> yours. Um. Uh. So, like, so I'm looking through like sort of like the preview images and stuff like that, and it looks like what happens is she goes like, "Oh, I'm in a job interview and there's nobody here, and then now I'm tied up in a room alone." <laughs> the end of movie. <laughs> yeah. Pretty cool. It's, Pretty it's cool. Got, it's got good sweaters, I guess. Sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Red she also has red hair and glasses and like a long pearl necklace, and you would think those would be part of the tags. Those, th- those are the parts that are outside of the sweater, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Those are non sweater yeah. elements. What's I am from, I'm, I am from Clips for Sale. Oh, good. <laughs> Welcome to my home. Uh oh. <laughs> my name is Sweet Lily's Videos. Uh oh. Cool. <laughs> the name of this video is Knit and Coat Fuck. <laughs> I have a description for you. Okay. <clears throat> uh, POV dot naked, only wearing the coat, close slash buttoned in the beginning. He touches in the coat over and over, especially the boobs. Then he turns back and rusts with his penis the backside of the coat. Also what taking does up- that mean? He, he rusts, rusts with his with penis, his penis the backside of the coat. Oh, okay. On the okay. coat's back. A rust in the puss, push in the. Never. Oop, oop, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I gotcha. I didn't stick the landing there. It's, it's half a joke, but it's half of a really good joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, where was I? Um, also taking a part in the hand and briefly masturbating. After that, he fucks from behind while standing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is this? Art brute descriptions of porn. <laughs> <laughs> he grabs the coat covered ass. With one finger, he pushes the coat on asshole. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> and does he make a puppet out of it? <laughs> Is there a slide whistle noise? <laughs> After a while of hard fucking. <laughs> He sits and plays with covered boobs <laughs> and suck his dick. I'm gonna put in a form code here. Slash unbutton the sweater and tit fuck, tit fuck his dick. In between, he also rubs your shoulders, etc. Et it ends with a cum shot on the coat, maybe the covered tits. I don't you said know. there's too much wool coat in your asshole. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for thank you for actually completing the joke. <laughs> What's um, the what's the what's the category of this particular video? Okay, uh, I'm going to have to move back a little for this. Uh, mm-hmm. Okay, ask me again. Uh, what's the uh, category for this video? Sweater fetish. <laughs> and uh, you got any uh, related categories? Yes. Amateur fucking big dicks blowjob POV. <laughs> the I, uh... keywords are. Wool coat, knitting coat, hard fucking blowjob, big dick, P O C. Yeah, I, I think, does that mean person mm. of color? Is that what that means? 
I hope it means. I can't mean that on Eclipse for Sale. I hope it means proof of concept. C, oh. <laughs> yeah, C and B are next to each other. This is the beta. This is the MVP. Uh, uh, toast. Uh, and, I, uh, uh, come shot in sweater. Mm, yeah, I, uh, I, uh, <laughs> I posted the title of a uh, of a related video. Oh, hello! <laughs> I am back. Fruitcake eat with cum in sweater. <laughs> Fruitcake eat. (laughs) Can you can you please read it one more time? (laughs) Fruitcake eat with common sweater. (laughs) Oh wait, Uh, no, I don't want to paste that. One of the other related categories uh, has the uh, has the uh, confusing title of "Many Sweater and Cardigan Background Video Part One," uh, but it's just a uh, it's just pretty much just like a normal like uh, sex video, except for the woman's just wearing like a bunch of layers of cardigans over sweaters over cardigans, um, which is great. Uh, come close up, what you got? Oh. <laughs> My name is Delicious. No, my name is Drakewee. Drakewee. Delicious wool hairs from my cock with cum. Uh, Mm. Delicious Mm. hairs in my hot Mm. cock that exists with Mm. the rose of the wool. I like to destroy Mm. with my teeth the sweater Mm. and put the destroyed thing in my cock and feel the pleasure and the itch that my cock has when I put the hairs of the wool in the my... Chevrolet Vega and get a very good load of cum. Another fetish made full of pleasure for you. This is this is like for the me? exact opposite of Margulon's disease. <laughs> <laughs> Category sweater fetish. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Related categories. No episode to hear that. Oh, um, may I tell you about my keywords? Please. Wool fetish, wool, wool gay fetish, amateur, masturbation, eat wool, penis wool, cock wool, cum wool, soft wool, sweater fetish, cock, sweater fetish, gay, sweater fetish, cum, sweater fetish, man. We got it all. <laughs> eat wool. Uh, um, okay, I'm sorry to I'm sorry to interrupt, uh, please, but I did a yeah, little yeah. investigating here because it, it was just gnawing at me. Outstanding. Um, so the POC tag, I was like, yeah. what what the hell is this? So I was looking at it, and I finally just. I was looking around the site, looking around this person's videos, and so I eventually just clicked the tag, and it's just this video. I think it's a typo, and they meant to hit V, and they yeah. just hit C. That's, yeah. <laughs> that's what I said, yeah. V yeah. and huh. C are next okay. to each other on oh. the keyboard. That's what POC means. It means POV. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> yeah. So, just just wanted to solve the... I solved a little okay. mystery for myself, so Great, <laughs> moving you. on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, uh, there's a there's the this page. You know, this document actually only 19 pages, but but uh, there's a lot of good stuff in here. We're gonna mm-hmm. skip past a couple of really tasty looking things here, including fleece enthusiast eats cum, uh, touched by my fuzzy angora my furry angora gloves, and put this sweater on for me. Mm. Uh, we're gonna skip past right all of that uh, into a story. Uh, this is a, a sort of <laughs> uh, long form story, uh, and it's called the wool sweater. Uh, Adam, I'm going to let you start off, and you can choose to tag in whoever you like whenever you're ready. Okay, and and a- anybody can tag in, too, by the way. Okay, fantastic. Um, this is sourced from r slash itching fetish. Ew. Oh. Ew. Wow. wow. Paraphilia, so, I guess? Uh, no. That's... And <laughs> Why... That's, mm. your... that's a problem. Like, your synapses are definitely that's a That's a problem, yeah. Uh, my name, the author of the this piece is seen. Neighborhood Writer One. And so much of this subreddit, by the way, is people getting really excited yeah. about, um, like joke store itching powder. Oh, oh God. can anyone <laughs> guess whether or not the name Neighborhood Writer One has a U after the O or not? <laughs> <laughs> and here, and here our story begins. It is tagged NSFW, I'm so sorry. This is not safe for work, so if you're at work, please put your headphones in. (laughs) 
Come on. Your wool, your wool Get headphones. Up. Your woolen <laughs> headphones. My sister and Jason will be here at any moment. You can't wear that, Selena tapped Thea, who was half asleep on the couch, gesturing at her pajamas. But I'm cold and tired, <laughs> Thea moaned in protest. I'll let you wear one of my sweaters. They're really warm. <laughs> Fine. Thea sighed and pulled herself off the couch with effort. See? It's a perfect fit, Selena said with her hands on her hips after Thea pulled the sweater over her head. She smoothed her hair down and planted a firm kiss on the top of her head. I can't wear this. It's a two-person job getting this sweater on. Yes. I can't wear this, Thea whined. The wool is making me itchy. Ooh. Come here, Selena motioned. Where does it itch? Everywhere. Ooh. Selena let out a sigh, lifted up the sweater, and placed her hand on Thea's back. She trailed her fingers lightly down her spine. Stop teasing me, Thea squirmed. Selena smiled and dug into Thea's back, <laughs> her long pink nails scraping over her shoulder um, blades. Uh, yeah. Please don't, please don't do that to my body. <laughs> Better. Yes, please don't ever stop doing that, Thea moaned as she practically melted into her girlfriend's hands. As much as I'd like to stay here and scratch your back, I gotta get ready too, Selena let out a chuckle. If it's really bothering you that much, you can take it off. Mm, I'll be fine, it'll just take a little getting used to, Thea mumbled as she scratched at her lower back. When the doorbell rang, Selena's shirt was only halfway buttoned up. Can you get the door? She asked. Thea ran down the stairs two at a time. (laughs) Fiona and Jason were sitting at the kitchen island when Selena walked into the room. She greeted them and walked over to Thea, pulled her girlfriend into a hug and scratched roughly under the sweater. Thea shuddered sighing heavy and burying her face into the crook of her neck. Still itchy, Selena whispered into her ear. Her warm breath made Thea shiver. A slow smile spread across her face. Not anymore. (laughs) Well, that's my boner over. (laughs) Oh, just when it was getting good. Boots? Oh, yeah, yeah. You sure you don't want to change? Selena pulled back and looked into her eyes. I'll be fine. I can hold it out. <laughs> Thea assured her, her shoulders man, twitching. Man, no matter what the matter the reader, Thea gets an unfortunate voice. We need some consistency. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thea couldn't have been more wrong. Sure, the sweater was nice and warm, but she was starting to get a little too warm. A single bead of sweat rolled down her back, sparking itches down her spine. She rolled her shoulders. Selena was deep in conversation with Jason. She didn't want to interrupt her, just to ask for a quick back scratch. So hopefully she just, like, backed herself into one of the chairs and just, like, rubbed (laughs) herself against it. Like a pear? Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, like like Baloo and Jungle Book or something. Uh, She tried to scratch her back discreetly, but she had no luck. She shifted uncomfortably in her seat. Suddenly, she felt a moment of relief as the rods of the chair dug into her back. Oh, exactly (laughs) that. Okay, great. She rubbed up against them. It felt good. It felt really good. Hang on, hang on, hang Mm -hmm. on, hang on, hang on. Imagine a chair. Mm-hmm. Okay, you all doing it? I think you're sitting in chairs, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. and then the the rods the rods of the chair are digging into your back. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, I, I got my I got my Rod Stewart themed chair right here. <laughs> the chair had previously been used in a WWF match. <laughs> oh, okay. I, was, I thought it was like a pinhead creation. So they're all fucked up and going in different directions. <laughs> We have such chairs for you to sit on. (laughs) She stifled the moan. Hey, Thea. You feeling okay? Oh, I like Fiona asked. I like that character. It's a new character, you see. Mm -hmm. Uh, Thea didn't like the sudden attention on her. Selena watched her carefully. Yeah, I'm fine, (laughs) Thea said. (laughs) Just a little bit warm. 
<laughs> she excused herself to go to the bathroom. Take your sweater off, lady. <laughs> As soon as she closed the bathroom door, Thea stripped herself of the damn sweater. She would have changed. She would have changed well, a, if her body had looked sweater. so good. It is a damn sweater. That's nice. This. Wait, what? God damn it! She caught her girlfriend eyeing her up and down the entire meal. She looked around for something to scratch with. She couldn't reach everywhere with her nails. Her eyes locked on the sink cabinet. She angled herself in a way that it fit perfectly in between her shoulder blades where it itched the most. She shifted up and down. The sharp wooded edge provided the long needed relief. She let out a soft moan. She arched her back to scratch just under her shoulder blades while clawing at her lower back. Ah, get it off, get it off. <laughs> she let out another moan, a bit louder this time. Thea? Selena's head was sticking through the doorway. Thea was so focused on her scratching that she realized she had forgotten to lock the door. The girl then took in the sight she had from the doorway, her girlfriend half-naked rubbing up against the same cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't what it looks like like video game ragdoll flailing around on the edge of the counter <laughs> you know if you needed a back scratch you could have asked she chuckled Tag. And i guess i'll i guess I'll, well let me let me do a theo oh, voice yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just so i can keep with it all right, then, scratch me. <laughs> no, it's keeping it consistent. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, thank, yeah. You, thank you, thank <clears> you. <throat> Selena marched over to her and put her hands in, put her hands in her shoulders. Oh, God. Shunk. Ah! Fatality. <laughs> oh, they did the super move. Thea tensed. Are you ready for the best back scratch in your entire life? I wouldn't say, but... <laughs> First, why don't we unhook this bra, shall we? Is the door closed? Why don't we unhook this bra, shall we? Why don't we unhook okay. this bra, shall we? <laughs> Selena carefully unhooked Thea's bra and threw it to the side. She scratched vigorously in between her shoulder blades, leaving deep red marks. Thea said, yeah! leaning into her touch. Selena pressed her nails against her back and scratched harder. Mm, that's good! Thea murmured happily. Where else does it itch? <laughs> Selena asked. Uh, right under my shoulder blades, <laughs> both of them. <laughs> right here. <laughs> uh, yes, yes. Uh, uh -huh. Right there. <laughs> hey, 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 come plus up. <laughs> Someday later, can I get you to dub over like a full feature porn? <laughs> Uh, uh, fuck me harder. <laughs> oh, yes. She let out a loud exhale. All the tension she had been feeling had melted away. The two glanced in the mirror. Wow, your back is really red. Selena <laughs> laughed. I think I'll change. <laughs> Thea said. <laughs> I think I'll change. <laughs> Slipping the sweater back over her head, she rolled her shoulders. Good. Like, uh, le yeah. like Brock Lesnar. <laughs> <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> Selena kissed her cheek, scratching lightly under the sweater. It could have been worse, she continued, <laughs> her hand still scratching as they ran up the stairs. It <laughs> could have been a turtleneck. Uh, scratch my neck, you're giving me sympathy <laughs> yeah, yeah, itches! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thea groaned. <laughs> End of story, somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Story is a generous just to word. Yeah. <laughs> just, to, just to close this out, uh, Adam, can you well, uh, I, just read? Uh, I, I would just what? like to point out that I would, I like, I would like to point out that it was became immediately apparent that this was from 
an itching fetish community, not a sweater fetish community. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. This is sweater defamation. I yeah, feel. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, uh, before we, uh, close out here, uh, Adam, uh, the very last thing, uh, that the lizard put in this document, uh, would you just take that, please? Yes. So, this is, uh, a list of websites that the lizard, uh, found people linking to that no longer exist and that the lizard wishes still existed to source this document. <clears throat> Wolfetish.club Wooloverz.forumirios.com <laughs> Am I done typing yet? <laughs> Sweaterbondage.com Wolfreaks.de What's up, Wolfreaks? Yeah. Hello. Guten Tag, mein and Wolfreakin. Du! Wool is the only world that they know. <laughs> furfashionguide.com slash fur forum hmm. fuzzyclarity.blogspot.com Fuzzy clarity. ice chic.com oh hello <laughs> a lot of models.com <laughs> <laughs> how many models you got over here because <laughs> tra- I'm looking for a lot of models okay Wooltrom.de And the last one Softfurry.com And this one is special Because you can buy it for the low low price Of $2,095 Okay Good 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 good. Because I have not been making money with my hard furries Yeah (laughs) These furries are all so soft Uh, F plus what did we learn from any of this? That uh, sweater True sweater fetish stuff is hard to find. And you have to settle for a converse fetish and scratch fetish and all that junk. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Any 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 continuity of a sweater fetish community quickly unraveled. Thanks. Ah. Thanks again. Thanks again. Okay. Yep. 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 That's also going to be. Uh, is that a different T-shirt oh site that you're selling those for? Or I guess it couldn't be T-shirts. Mm, it would have no. to be. You can't screen print sweaters, though, can you? No. I, in fact, I was kind of hoping for like yep. a forum spat between. You know how you have those ugly sweater parties, but then there's you buy the fake ugly sweaters that just like screen printed oh, images sure. yep. of holiday yep. sweaters oh, yeah. on like a long sleeve T-shirt. Uh, yes, yes, I was yes, hoping I, there I, would be like sweater fetish one. people looking down on those. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe but. we should make some like uh, t-shirts that just say "This is a nice sweater" or "This is a <laughs> oh, cozy <yeah>. sweater." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> some, and you just know that somewhere out there, somebody's mad about it. <laughs> yes, that appeals to me. Ce n'est pas un sweater. Uh, yeah, I thought it was a little bit interesting um, that uh, the lizard uh, sort of went so far and wide to source those things because, like, you know, as somebody that has uh, spent many years uh, looking at weird shit on the internet, like, I'm not a stranger to looking at uh, those those photos of the people in the, in the crochet bondage outfits because they're goddamn hilarious. <laughs> like, they're so funny to look at, and, uh, and and everyone agrees, and so there's, like, so many photos. And the people seem to be happy to take their photos of themselves in their uh, crochet bondage gear. Um, but yet there doesn't seem to be, like, it's weird that th- all of these photos would exist, but yet, the, like, the unifying communities doesn't seem to? Doesn't that seem strange? Or I yeah. guess maybe that's the problem. Like maybe Wool Fetish Club like was the tie that bound them all together, and now that's gone. Maybe there's a hole in the market. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. I think well, I now, think the big flaw with this uh, proclivity is that it's seasonal. It's a seasonal fetish. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I just think it gets more extreme. Right, like in in you know, like in in Tuesday, you know, on in, on on February, everyone's a sweater fetish. But the real sweater fetishists are there in August. These fucking yeah. fair weather sweater fetishists, <laughs> exactly. I mean, or they could have their AC up really high mm. and just you know yeah. put on extra sweaters. Like I like to eat ice cream in the winter sometimes. You know, it's Ooh, so hot. very <laughs> elegant. Do you turn on the heat for that? You can't turn off the heat in some places. 
Um, yeah, so uh, our website is always thefbl.us, uh, where there's a bunch of uh, podcast uh, related things. Uh, I'm currently on name cheap in beast mode, trying to figure out uh, which sweater fetish community uh, website we're going to buy. Uh, but in the meantime, you can go to balp.it. Wait, no, wait, yeah, balp.it. There it is. Yeah. Did you just forget? I well, see, here's the thing. I was looking. I was. I was looking at. I was looking at sweaterfetish.apartments and sweaterfetish.org. <laughs> oh, I knew it. I knew it. We, we end with a bunch of bunch of URLs and Lemon just... Yeah. Lemon found, Lemon found his fetish. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I've, I've known. I've known. I don't think I didn't hear that wolf, that nice when you heard wolf fetish that club. You're like, yeah. I did. I did like it. And I know how much they paid for wolf fetish that club. <laughs> of course you I do. happen to know that's a cheap one. Uh, that's all. Bye. Bye. Sweaterfetish.builders. Wow. <laughs> God damn it. Sweaterfetish.best. <laughs> Here you go. What a deal. Sweater.sexy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Only $10 for a dot sexy. Yeah. That's exciting to know. I like that. That's a really great business. We could do a startup of, of the t-shirts that I mentioned, and mm-hmm. it just says sexy mm-hmm. sweater on the t-shirt, and the website is sweater.sexy. Yes. We'll be billionaires. <laughs> Billion. Literal billionaires. Literal billionaires. Literally overnight. It might take a couple weeks. <laughs>